over the course of the semester, we will cover several theories of personality. The question arises, how do you know which theory is better? Well, the book discusses four criteria for a good theory, and I think these will be very helpful moving forward in helping you understand how to determine if a theory is good or not. The first criteria for a good theory is verifiability. In other words, can we use this theory in research to test human personality? Is the theory verifiable in terms of the concepts that they mention or discuss? Can we actually find or identify those concepts in human behavior or functioning? The second criteria for a good theory is comprehensiveness. For me, a comprehensive theory refers to whether or not the theory accounts for a large variety of human behavior. A theory is no good if it only explains an individual's personality. However, if the theory is able to capture personality characteristics of many people or people across the globe, it becomes a very good theory. The third criteria for a good theory is whether or not the theory has applied value. For me, as a clinical psychologist, this is the most important criteria because for a theory to have applied value, that means that I can actually utilize it to help improve the quality of life of my clients. So anytime I'm exposed to a new theory, that's the first question I ask. Does this theory allow me to improve the quality of life of clients? And then the final criteria for a good theory refers to whether or not the theory has parsimony and heuristic value. This means, does the theory really explain a small number of key concepts in a very succinct and organized way? And then, are people able to then utilize that explanation in their daily interactions? I hope these four criteria help you throughout the semester as you attempt to identify a theory that best speaks to you.